Uh, greetings all and welcome back to Globit's Gaming Channel. Right, a bit of a rare tank today for a replay. Uh, T25AT, uh, driven by Backshoot from the BA-9 clan. Hmm, not sure what that means, but if you'd let me know, that'd be great. What the uh, clan actually means. I love these orc voices. Uh, we are actually working on a Burke version of this. Well, I'm not working on it. Um, Phoenix is working on it for me, the guy who makes my Globit's mod pack for me. He was an absolute legend. Um, the early part of this replay, I'm not going to be fun to fair with you, it's pretty boring. Um, but it's it gets better in the latter half. So what this is going to give me an opportunity to do is actually talk to you about a few things. I've had a few questions before in the comments of other videos. Where did I get my intro music from, from the uh, Globitz uh, intro, the thing with the night vision? Um, I've got an admission to make. I didn't make the video. I've got no idea where Jay, my friend who made it, actually got the music from. Uh, he actually owns the royalties to that particular song as well, or that, that tune. Um, so I don't think he's going to release it to the public domain. I don't think he can. I think only he can use it or I can use it with because he's made the video. So unfortunately, uh, the only other thing I could suggest is maybe get an app on your phone and pull it next to the speaker, uh, and it might be able to detect what uh, video, uh, what music it is. There's a couple of apps out there that can actually do that. Now, one thing in the early stages replay this T3485 that you're going to see in a moment. Um, basically, if you're starting south on this map, you've got two choices with the TD. You can sit in the base, pretty much, or you can sit here and try and spot these people coming up from the north in the early stages of the game. Um, the town doesn't fare very well in this particular match. Uh, the look basically goes forward and dies. Now, here's that T-3485. Now, we spot him. Okay, back shoot spots him. Unfortunately, he doesn't get chance opportunity to get a shot at him. Don't know why he didn't take that snapshot there, but check this out. Boom. <laughs> yeah. And just just keep an eye on chat. Just just keep an eye on chat. Revenants in uh, Revenant 84 in the GW Panther. <laughs> Tidget in the T3485 is how the fuck? <laughs> oh dear. I don't think he had six cents. Something tells me he didn't have six cents. Anyway, uh, yeah, so you can have a look for the music through yourselves. I'm not, I'll try and get a hold of Jay if I can uh, get out in touch with him and try and ask him what music it was. I don't think it's something that you guys will be able to get hold of. Uh, feel free to make a recording of it, though, if you want to, and use it for something else. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, sending me replays. Somebody else has uh, put comments a couple of times. Where do I send the replays to? Well, it's in the description of every single World of Tanks video that I do. Uh, scroll down on the description of the video, uh, and it's in there. Uh, globit1683 at gmail.com. I would like you to upload your replay to World of Tanks replays, please, if, it would be, if, if you could do that for me. I don't want people sending me emails with files that I can't recognise. I'd rather you just send me a link, because uh, then it's a lot safer for myself um, to prevent, uh, protect myself from things like viruses and all that kind of stuff, because somebody could easily dis uh, disguise a virus um, as a file, if you know what I mean, for whatever reason. It's a bit paranoid thing I've got. I've been advised to do it. Get you guys upload it to what replay? It's completely free. It's easy to do. Okay, and then just send me the link to the page of the replay that you've actually posted. All you need to do there, in order to do that, you have to have a World of Tanks account. All right, if you've got a World of Tanks account, which you will have because you're sending me a World of Tanks replay, um, upload it to there, and then uh, I can have a look at the uh, screenshot of the, uh, the sorry the battle results screen to let me have a look at a little bit about the replay before I post it. Uh, a couple of other things as well. Um, people have been emailing me and t asking me why I haven't used their replay. Was their replay not good enough? Guys, it's never a case of your replay is not good enough. I appreciate every single replay that I get sent in, uh, but I've got to pick and choose. Okay, I've got to pick and choose which one I do. I work full time, etc., etc., etc. I've got a lot of crap going on in my life. At ne end of next week, um, hopefully I'll have a little bit more time on my hands. Um, but at this moment in time, I've got a full time job. A wife, a house, a dog, etc., etc., etc. So I've got to pick and choose. Um, how, how do I pick the replays? Well, if you could describe it in an email and say why it's special, um, I watch every single replay that I get given, I get sent. Uh, well, I say 90% of them. Um, and what I basically do there, I've got to sort of decide what it is that I've got to comment on. And there's a reason for sending this video in. For, for using this particular replay. I mean, up to now, nothing's happened. We've seen one tank and it's got obliterated by artillery. Well, that's not exactly great. The town's getting absolutely hammered, but we can't see that. But the issue of, for me for this replay is I watched it and I just waited till the end and it was like, wow. Because um, this guy, back shoot, okay, he's got balls of steel. Uh, there's some stuff in the later game that I would not have done. This guy has got, well, he uses up about eight of his nine lives. If I were you, my friend, I wouldn't drive a Hellcat because you've used nearly all your lives up at this point. Anyway, the scout isn't doing his job. The scout's following the tank destroyer. Uh, if you notice in the chat, he was asking the AMX earlier if he could push forward. 
Uh, I don't particularly know why I don't see many 25 AT replays, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, from what I can gather, I don't think he had the top gun. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure... Where did that hit him? That should have penetrated wherever he hit him. Oh, no, it didn't look like he hit him on the front. Never mind. He basically gets annihilated by our scout that sat behind us. But anyway, um, what's so bad about this tank? Um, I know the 25... 25-2 uh, is pretty pants, uh, but that's to do with the gun, I believe. But this thing, 300 alpha. Uh, let's have a look at it. Artillery is going to rain down here. Just, yeah, stay until. Yeah, stay in two still. Let's have a look. 200 mil pen and 320 damage. I don't think the gun's the problem with this tank. I think it's the fact it's it's one of those things. It's I think it's the armor on this tank. It's front-facing tank destroyer. I don't think it's got a great deal of armor. Uh, I didn't do my research before actually doing this um, replay. Because to be honest with you, I'm not a factual kind of guy. I don't really give a shit what kind of... I want to know what people think. Because on paper, an IS-3 has got 100 millimeters at the front. But to be honest with you, people bang shells through my upper plate and fucking blow my armor out to pieces all the time. He did manage to ding for an M12. <laughs> now this is the point in the game when I was sort of like, what the hell are we doing here? You know, little tip from the top, if I've got anything, if you're banging rounds in artillery, load HE. If you're not going to use HE and you're not going to switch, okay, get rid of the HE out of your ammo load. If you're not going to have that gumpture to switch around and, and change your ammunition, now this is a problem. It's SU-152 one, one, there, which misses, thank Christ that missed. Now, <laughs> this is interesting. Oh, missed, god damn it, 320 average damage on this cannon. 320, and then... RNG Jesus strikes. Not a bad reload on this thing. Flush shot on a Hummel. And it rolls low. Now this is the point where I was like, what the hell? Our scout has been assassinated by the SU-152. And I don't know what this Hummel driver was doing, but he is in a whole world of pain here. Um, back shoots in a whole world of pain. The artillery is banging round. And he's basically, I'm going to ignore you and I'm going to kill all your friends. And a rupti doop doop doop. <laughs> yep, Hummel shoots in point blank range. Takes like... No health off him whatsoever. Thankfully, didn't penetrate. Just did splash damage and took his tracks off. Give me some slugs. And he kills the Hubble by ramming him and reversing into him. Sort of a reverse butt poke, butt poke there. Fantastic. And that's pretty much the reason why. Because this, to be honest with you, is one of those replays that you couldn't make this shit up. You know what I mean? He's managed to take out three tanks that, to be honest with you, if they put the combined efforts together, could have absolutely destroyed this guy. But basically what he's done in his replay, he's advanced un unopposed down the AB line, apart from one tier 5 tank destroyer, and basically got amongst them and ripped them to pieces. Now, one thing I did want to point out, for those of you um, that aren't aware, he's got a health kit. Now, I'm going to expand the map. The blue circle, okay, is his view range. The orange circle, I believe, is the maximum potential view range uh, in the game. Do you notice how small that thing is now? The commander in this particular tank, um, if he gets knocked out, which he is knocked out, reduces the view range massively. Now, it's not a big issue in this particular game. It's the end of the game. But, you know, think about this later on, guys. Repair your commanders, because your commanders affect the ability and the skill of all your crew, including your loader, your gunner, you know, your driver, everything. It make, they, the, the commander makes everybody better. All right, it's always a good idea to repair your commander. Would it have made us hit that Hummel first time on that... Uh, move, shot on the move, I don't know, but look at the size of the aiming circle now compared to what it was at the first half of the replay. You know, the aiming circle is massive, and he's going to now start making long range shots. And for some reason, the uh, blue circle's gone back to full size now. Oh, because he's just used to repair his command. Ah, ah, exactly. Did you see the difference there? <laughs> Alright, I, I didn't check this out on the, when I watched the replay previously. You see the difference of the view range? It allows him to take hits off the KV3. Now, he didn't penetrate the KV3, but he managed to hit him. Look how small the aiming circle's gone. Yeah, no, unfortunately, he can't get the hits in here, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, aiming time. E nope, he manages to get taken out. Yep, let's look at the post-game stats on that one. All right, guys. What I thought I'd do here is I thought I'd show you how to actually uh, upload something to whatreplays.com. Uh, here you can see it's basic World of Tanks Replays.com. Uh, if you just Google what replays, uh, I'm logged in as Globit1683. I'm logged in as myself, and all I do is if I want to upload a replay to World of T uh, What Replays in order for me to send it to somebody like Quickie Baby or Jingles or anyone else, all I do is click the Upload Replay button. Okay, and what it'll do, all right, you can title it. So, for example, I'm going to use Backshot's um, replay because I don't think he uploaded it. Uh, I'm going to put uh, T25 AT having fun with artillery. 
or RT. T25 AT, having fun with RT. Oh, let's do the uh, AT, lovely. Then all you do then is you can put a description if you want to, you don't need to, um, and you're going to choose file. Okay, so what I'm going to do is choose file, and I search for all my tank, all my files and folders and all that kind of good stuff, which is up here. Uh, Bandit Camp videos, channel footage. Okay, those of you that know any of the uh, your replays, they're all in here, the ones I'm going to use. Okay, and there we go. Just click it, click open. Okay, and it loads it up there. Once I'm happy with that, all I do is upload replay. And what we get straight away is the battle results screen, which is here. Yep, easy. Now, this is what I see. If you send me the link to the email, all you do now is you copy and paste the... I'll just expand the screen slightly. You copy and paste this thing at the bottom, top, the address bar of what you've... Uh, whatever your screen is. So get you to get to this screen. Copy and paste that into the email. And basically, I can click that link and it brings me straight to this page. Okay, which is really, really useful for me. It's a lot more easy for me um, to notice what I'm going to use. Okay, and then you can basically go back and review your scores. So let's have a look. Uh, class 1 Mastery Badge, 2,000 based experience. Uh, Backshoot does not use a premium account. Okay, so that's premium, but it is a non-premium, but it is doubled. Um, class 1 Mastery Badge, not bad effort, and he got high caliber. Um, like I said, the reason for this isn't one of those epic, like, 8 kill, you know, 6,000 damage replays. It's just really, really funny to watch him march across the map unopposed uh with the team scores he did do reasonably well uh special mention to the um hummel there who one shotted that poor t3485 who target if you're out there mate and you're watching this replay just um we feel your pain uh you got scumbags and be scumbags uh the only one that did do any damage at all was the looks because he went the wrong way he went straight into the town the town in that no point going for looks going into the town yeah we've got 2,000 damage four kills yeah, and it made him 10,000 credits profit. Now, this is the thing about World of Tanks. You see, I've noticed this. I ran a standard account for a couple of days. You can't really effectively play the high tiers uh, with a standard account. The game is free to play. All right, it is free to play, and it will always remain so. However, it's not free to play. You get to tier 8, tier 9, tier 10. You can't run these tanks effectively unless you have games. And that was a reasonably good game. 2,000 damage game. What class one mastery badge? He still only made ten thousand credits. Now he did get himself absolutely spanned. Okay, he did lose nearly all his health, but even then, you know, a ten thousand credit profit—that's not going to get you a tier ten tank anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, not a bad effort at all. So hopefully that little tutorial, as well as all the rest of it, was worthy of a video. I'm going to put it up there anyway. If you liked it, you know, let's use in the comments, guys. Again, loads of comments on the world of tank stuff. Um, you can also, oh, that's another thing I was going to mention. You can send things to best replays of the week if you want to, uh, and you win gold. Um, so basically if you have a really epic game um, you can send it to one of these now the kind of standard of the games that you have to get to win anything on best replays of the week if any of you have watched any of it uh, it's quite high uh, but it might be worth the worthy uh, having a go one day you never know if you get a really fantastic replay alright so I hope that helps guys and I'll catch you next time T25 AT hmm. not going to get to one I don't think I'm not going to grind one but a nice little TD take care of yourselves bye now